now. The search for a missing four-year-old little boy continues in Hopkins. Just within the last few minutes, police there uh, regrouped and they resumed active search efforts this morning. Saquon joins us live at the city's fire department with what officials want the public to know. Uh, say good morning. Hey, good morning. Yeah, we were just at the fire department just a few minutes ago. I will say we are back in the area where police and authorities are kind of focusing their search right now. Um, we are hearing that there is an organized volunteer search effort that is going to be underway in this area here uh, with the meeting starting at the fire department. We haven't seen those volunteers quite yet, so we'll check back there in just a few minutes after this. But we do have this drone shot available for you just to give you a better idea of what this area is. Let me just say this isn't necessarily the most friendly area for a four-year-old boy to be walking around, okay? There's a mix of this residential area, but here right next to this apartment complex, which is the Chorus Apartment Building in Hopkins, uh, you can see this is Minnehaha Creek, so uh, that's a little bit dangerous, obviously. And then you have a little busy stretch of road there, which is where authorities are focusing their search. That is Blake Road North and 2nd Street Northeast. So this is just off of 169 and Excelsior Boulevard, and police say this boy ran away on foot at around 7.30 yesterday morning at 1295 Lake Street Northeast in Hopkins. That's right where that apartment complex is. Now, people in this area say they saw him going eastbound on that same road. That's Lake Street Northeast. A surveillance photo shows he was wearing only some blue pajama pants. Okay, he didn't have a shirt on, didn't even have shoes on when he wandered off. Police say he has autism, he is nonverbal, and he's easily startled by loud noises. Now, they also say he is drawn to water. And like I said earlier, Minnehaha Creek is right here, which has police very concerned right now. We've had people uh, walking through the water, walking the banks. We've had firemen in their uh, safety suits going in the water itself. We have had some craft uh, in the water in certain areas as well. So if you live or work near this area, officers are asking that you comb through your surveillance video. They're also asking people who live in the area of Highway 169 to Highway 100 from Highway 7 down to Excelsior Boulevard to check their property for this missing boy. Now, if you think you see him, this is important. Police ask that you call 911 right away and to not approach him so that he doesn't run away. I will say once we got here, we did talk with a different volunteer who was looking for this boy on his own. He says he is a father. He is concerned about this boy and he just wants him found safe and alive. Again, we're going to head back to the fire department here in just a little bit. We know that there are search crews out there. We're just waiting to see the group of volunteers showing up and uh, hear about a plan for this continued search this morning. Guys, back to you. Probably hear the helicopters right. above also part of that search. Thank you, Say.